Hello guys, RPM Designs. Uh, I tried to make, uh, I want to make a uh, tutorial on how to undervolt your RTX uh, 3000 series GPU. I recently bought uh, the 3060 Ti, the, it's the Gigabyte variant, it's the Gigabyte Aorus Elite, and but it's running a little bit hot. I replaced the thermal paste and everything, but uh, yeah, it, ru it runs very hot and it throttles down and it's just a terrible design of these chips. But anyway, um, it, it's not Gigabyte, it's the entire lineup, like, uh, it, it just doesn't work properly. But anyway, um, yeah, I uh, came across this on YouTube, I was looking for something and, uh, I don't know, RTX temps and then all of a sudden I got to an undervolt videos and on, on YouTube and on uh, Google and yeah surprisingly it's performing way better than before way cooler and uh, because it, it it throttles down the whole time and you just have to uh, you know the problem is it's getting yeah hotter and especially the hot spot is getting so hot like uh, this is uh, Hardware info I always use, which is very reliable. Uh, this is the hotspot. Nobody knows what it is, but it's like an. Uh, does it say? Okay, no. Uh, it's it's basically it's a temperature. Uh, the the die uh, the C the GPU has a lot of sensors on it, and it's like an um, an average uh, out of all the sensors. It, it just basically is bullshit in my opinion. I think it's a terrible design. Just use one, like, an important, like, an, an this is not an overclocking, like, uh, GPU. You cannot even overclock the CPU, GPUs anymore. I mean, it's, it's just not worth it. And, I mean, why not getting one thermal, like, one sensor that's like the die, and that's it, you know? But they have to make it like this. It's so weird, and, and and Nvidia knows what it is, but no, they they won't tell you. Um, as you can see, I already did a few runs. I already said that because not very important. And um, yeah, the um, normally it was uh, I did superposition. I did a few runs of superposition. And let me check which one is the first. Uh, wait, this one I think is the first. Uh, yeah, this is the first one. This is just completely stuck. This is everything stuck uh, with no fan curve, no nothing at all, just straight out of the box firing up. This is what I got, and. The clock speeds were all over the place, like the GPU core speeds is like, then it's uh, 1929 or something, then it's 1965, then, but it almost, it very briefly reaches 1995, but very briefly, and it clocks down, it, it's all over the place, it's a fucking mess as far as I'm concerned. And this is with... Uh, everything, uh, the fans on maximum, and the power limit, everything on maximum also, but no overclock, no undervolt, no nothing, this is at uh, the maximum fan speed. This is at an undervolt. Normally the voltage goes to 1.06, I believe, something, something like that, and um, yeah, I undervolted it to 0.95 and even 0.925, and this is the result. It's getting way cooler. Um, well, not way cooler, but it, it keeps the boost higher. It's it's better, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy actually, to be perfectly honest. And uh, yeah, I will try to uh, improve even more. Like uh, you know, but it can take a little bit of time. And, uh, but this is a very fast uh, yeah, tutorial on how to uh, undervolt it, and uh, this is the result of it actually. And this is how you do it: you just fire up MSI Afterburner. This is a skin you can 
choose whatever skin you want in a user interface you can just choose whatever you want I, I find this one very neat so I use this one so you're gonna open up the curve editor you can also uh, if you like if your temps are okay you can do like an OC scanner like you know it, it scans but yeah I got the, the highest I got was 2010 but ah, it's it's not really needed I mean you know you don't know any uh, you know, don't notice a huge difference but this is very neat actually if you undervolt you get like for less power you get more performance consistently uh, higher boost cards and it's just, it's just better so this is what you do you go look this is the voltage and this is the frequency so as you can see all these points if I click on 950 it's at 950 millivolt at point f uh, 0.95 millivolt at 1845 megahertz 1845 megahertz so you raise that the same voltage for higher clocks that means like higher clocks get less voltage less heat means more stable clocks that's how this stupid architecture works and uh, that's what I did and uh, see this is the uh, curve and uh, yeah it, it works marvelously I mean you can literally see it in uh, in the scores and uh, yeah I love it it's uh, it's perfect it's working and uh, for people that get uh, it's not only to get better performance but also these cars run hot because of the die, the die is very small, so that makes it harder to cool. And um, so yeah, that that's basically it, and uh, that that's all the things you need to do. And you can, I mean, if you want, you can go berserk with it. You can go uh, every point you can adjust, but uh, I don't I don't think it's actually necessary. Let the car do the rest. It's just uh, just do uh, you know. But you can also go uh, this one and put it at higher like uh, but it is different from each card I believe I don't know I, maybe all cards are almost the same these days the silicon lottery is not really a thing anymore I believe most cards boost to the same performance but uh, what I saw is that even at stock sometimes my card boost all the way to uh, 1995 in games as well but it doesn't keep it there it's only briefly then it goes back to 1980 and it's uh, 1965 is the most is the highest sustainable clock I see overall but when you do the undervolt it's it's consistently at 1995 consistently I tried in games as well I have no uh, record of this but maybe in the in the future if people want that I can uh, I can do that but it's consistently at 1995 uh, which is quite neat in my opinion I quite like that so uh, yeah that's my little uh, yeah, sort of tutorial on how to uh, undervolt it and uh, yeah feel free to subscribe and like and favorite if you want to see more of this and see you guys in the next one thank you